Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I watch students struggle a little bit with this Gantt chart project. So, my friends, I've got a tutorial, so let's get cracking. All right, so real quickly, we are in 1.5, and this is a Gantt chart. These are flights. They mention that it is from Detroit, DTW, to O'Hare, which is ORD. This blue mark shows when the flight happens. This is 6 a.m., 0600. This is 7 a.m. So it is cut into four chunks. So these are each 15 minutes. So at 7.45, that plane takes off, and it lands at 10.45. The next flight returns at 11.30 and finishes right here. So these blue sections are the entire flight. Make sure you read about airport codes and then explain what you just learned down here in this box. Section three is quickly mentioning what I talked about with the 0600 and then the 15 minute segments of time. This is called military time and we'll be using this because this is what pilots use. Shifts are shown with the blue horizontal bar. So that's the entire time of the flight. They have rules that the crew must be there an hour before and they must stay a half hour after. And once again, they show the 15 minute marks, pop, pop, pop. So now there's a question. Study the chart and answer the question. What time does DTW take off? So study this, figure out that time, and then answer it in your head, check if you're right, and then solve the next ones. Now it's time to schedule a crew. We are gonna use the Google Sheet. You can simply click it, when it launches, you need to do file, make a copy, and put your name in front of it. I'm gonna put my initials, MDH, saving it to my drive and telling it okay. Once you've got your file, you can close theirs to make it so you've only got the two windows to bounce between. Note, this shows those same two flights that we talked about a minute ago, and now it has the captain in green. If we go here to flight management, this is Captain Hernandez. We can learn quickly how long he's worked, when he quit his last flight, his earliest next flight, how many hours he has in the week, and if he had time requested off. There are rules for scheduling. There are check marks for you to make sure you filled these out. So you cannot fly for 10 hours after your previous flight. That's why they show a state ended and the next available flight. So these guys can all fly on October 2nd. Johnson can't fly until October 3rd at 9.30. Note this dude has 55 hours, so he can only work five more hours the rest of the week. If you ever have a tie, you pick the person with the most seniority for the pick. If a person can't fly, you leave them totally blank. So notice A. Hernandez could not finish his flight because he only had five hours left. If you're counting close, it's just one, two, three, and then one more chunk and one more chunk. He would hit his 60 hours here so he would not be able to return on this flight. You can double check that answer right here. So let's fill in Johnson's bar together. Notice Johnson cannot start until October 3rd at 9.30. So let's return to our chart, find where 9.30 would be, Here's 9 a.m., 9.15, this would be 9.30, and this is when he can start working. We use the fill tool. Notice they've got the colors down here on the bottom, and he could complete the rest of this flight. I'm going to fill that in quick and then show you why. Because Captain Johnson only had 37 hours so far. He had plenty of time. Now you need to fill in Williams, who can start any time and has 29 hours. When you've got Williams completed in green, then you'll be able to look at the puzzle and figure which of these three captains is available for both of these flights and add that to your Project Lead the Way notebook. We are gonna complete this now for a first officer and the flight attendants. We're gonna do the first officers in orange and we're gonna use purple for the flight attendants. Let's check the first flight officer, brown, is available at 4 a.m. on October 3rd, only has 18 hours. So let's go to Brown. 4 a.m. is before the flight, so that means they're available for the entire flight. Notice I'm marking the exact same time as the flight, and we're gonna fill that, remember, with orange, which is right here. They are available for the entire second flight, so we're gonna fill that with orange as well. And now you need to complete that process for Garcia and Patel 
making sure that you pay attention to all the little chunks of area when they're available how many hours they've already worked and if they requested time off once again remember if they are not available you leave them blank down at the flight attendants we're gonna do these in purple the first flight attendant is available on October 2nd only has 22 hours so we can simply move over Let's move down to Anderson, and we can fill them in with the custom purple, and we can fill the other in with the custom purple, because they were available for the entire flight. I always double check because going back and forth can make it tricky. Uh, notice that this person is not available till 9 a.m., and you'll have to keep track of the hours, because remember, if they go over 60, that doesn't work. Once you've got your map figured out, you'll be able to figure out who is the only person that can captain both flights. You'll be able to solve who can be the one first officer, and you need to be able to tell me who the two flight attendants will be in your Project Lead the Way notebook. Alrighty, friends, now that you've got that information, make sure that you answer that in your Project Lead the Way notebook. And if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.